welcome to this episode of Try Love. My name is Carla, bringing on the camera, and it's a beautiful day today. We are back in Taipo Village to try one of the latest newly opened cafes around here called Cafe Bing Sai. So come on, let's go. stuff already. I'm getting burger right here. I can see it. Ah, the space is too small. I'm like sitting right in the very corner of my seat. But anyway, we're here in this new cafe in Taipo Village called Soda Ping Sat and we're gonna try it because everything looks so good. I think some kind of like old Macanese, Chinese fusion sort of thing going on here. So we'll see how it goes. So while we're waiting for our food, let's review the menu. There are a few items here that like look really interesting. Look at this thing. It seems like a pineapple bun. It has pork chop and like runny egg in there. It looks really good. But we're not getting it today because you know we're eating proper lunch. But look at this thing. This is a French toast, but not your typical French toast. It is bubble tea French toast. Like bubble tea, this might be for you. We also got this one. This is the salted egg uh, fried chicken wings. I love salted egg, so we need to have that. And yeah, basically that is it. new cafes just opened up in Taipo Village and we want to try every single one of them but we just don't have the time but anyway if you want to know where this place is located it's basically at the corner facing right in front of this Chinesa school I didn't know how to explain it but this place actually used to be a really popular place to get to Papa it's pretty iconic back in the day people would line up literally just to get some pork chop buns over here but unfortunately that place is closed down some time now and yeah okay our food is here <laughs> i got distracted because the food looks really good look at this it smells good too oh i can smell that salted egg mm, that smell i like it why does it look crumbly I wonder what these things are. A typically salted egg sauce would be this creamy thing here because they use condensed milk to cook it. But they have these really crumbly things on top. Let me, let me try this also. Mm. It's some type of biscuit. Just like those souvenir food that you can buy from Macau. Those egg rolls type of biscuit. And like salted egg flavor. It tastes like that. So maybe it's that, you know? And they crumple it and drizzle on top of this. That's good. I didn't expect that. Honestly, I can't taste that much of a salted egg here. I can smell it, but I can't really taste it. Mm. That's strange. It tastes just like a typical fried chicken wings. <laughs> Where is the salted egg? I can't taste it. Oh well. It's like a letdown. Oh, there's my dish. There we go. I'm gonna try this. What we have right here is one of Macau's renowned local dishes. This is the African chicken. And they have this version right here. Just let me dig right in. This looks like it's baked, so it might be hot. Gotta be a little cautious. By the way, African chicken is known to be really spicy. And I've had really spicy, you know, African chickens in the past. So let's see how this is going to fare like. Mmm. 
That is spicy. In a good way. It's good. So you can taste the tomato sauce in there, but also the spices. I like the texture. It's not too dry. Some African chicken tend to be a bit dry. This is one of them. That's good. I think that's like a good balance between the spiciness and the saltiness. It's just savory enough and spicy enough. Mm. I like this one. But let me show you guys what I ordered. Ooh. Sorry. I dropped everything. This is what I ordered. So this is what I got. Some mini burgers in a skewer. And what I like about this is that you get four different types of burger in one meal. So we have fish on top with a black bun. I think that is fish or pork. Oh wait, so I think this is pork. This is fish. It's a lot thicker and it's with some sort of white sauce. I'm guessing it's mayonnaise or something of the sort. And then you have the beef over there with the green bun. That looks really nice and juicy. And then you have chicken burger at the bottom, which is the most normal looking among four of them. This feels like playing with my food. It looks like a toy. There we go. Four different types of burgers. Um, the pork one is a little dry. Not the pork itself, but the bun is. But it's still a good, decent burger. There's no sauce in there, just plain. It's more like um, pork sandwich. Let me try the beef because the beef looks really, really good. I mean, look at that. It's like there's like melted cheese, fresh vegetables. So they have a bite. That one is good. Mm. It's not that salty. Just right, right kind of saltiness. Oh, I like that it's dripping, you know? That's how that's how juicy it is. Fish, fish comes with this teeny tiny drop of um is it Thousand Island sauce? Let me try it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. I'm never a fan of fish burgers, but it's good to have, you know, you want to have different variations in one serving, then yeah. Mm, tastes like paleo fish from McDonald's, but like more fresh, more clean. <laughs> and last we have the chicken burger. Mm, I love the chicken. Chicken is flavorful. I just wish that, you know, the meat in all of these burgers are bigger than the bread. Because, um, look at this chicken, it's like swallowed by the bread, kind of tiny. But otherwise, they're all good. If you want to have four different kinds of burger in one meal, one sitting, then this is for you. Alright. I like the cheese sauce. Start off with the African chicken, of course, because this is what I ordered. Mm. That is tasty. It tastes very local. At first, I thought it was going to be like the Molokai Fan, because it comes with turmeric rice. But no, it's different. It's, by the way, African chicken is not from Africa. It's a Macanese dish. Mm. It's really good. Mm. Let me try the salted egg fried chicken. Salted egg yolk fried chicken wings. It's 
not too bad. It's not really salty, but you can taste that salted egg yolk. Yeah, more of a smell. You can smell it more. I guess because like the salted egg yolk are, are like sprinkled all over the chicken wings, so so you gotta put more of them. That way you can actually taste it. Hmm. Let me start with the fries. Because the cheese dip is calling me. Cheesy, cheesy fries. Okay. Wait, which one's the fish? I want to taste the fish. This one. Fish. Yeah, so. Mm. What's the sauce? The sauce is like the the one. Yeah, that comes with fish fillet sauce at McDonald's, which is like mayo with pickles, like chopped pickles. Let me try the beef. Beef burger. Mm. Not much flavor in that beef patty. Try the pork. I don't know what is it about black buns that it's always dry. Yeah, right? It's like wherever you taste those like charcoal buns, they're always kind of dry. Yeah, I don't know why. If you know, like, let us know why. <laughs> Alright, yeah. I'll just keep eating. I'm starving. We're eating at the peak of lunch break. So there's like a lot of people, the whole restaurant is back earlier. I wasn't able to show you, but there was a queue. I think they're gonna have an outdoor area soon, but it's not open yet, but I can see from here at the back over there. It seems like they're setting up for some sort of outdoor dining. Talking about the ambience of this place is actually really nice. I like the pastel colors going on, yellow walls, teal seating, blue table, pink plates. The whole combination of colors just go well together. It has a very sort of old school, vintage vibe. If you guys want to beat the crowd, either you come here early, like 11.30 or before 12, or after lunch, as always. It's good. Good, good, good. Ooh, it's hot, you guys. We just finished eating. We paid a total of $172 for three dishes. It's not too bad considering this place is actually located in a very touristy spot, right in the center of Taipo Village. So yeah, it's not too bad. Just a quick note, they only open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. So that's like breakfast, lunch, and tea time. So if you wanna have a dinner here, you can't do that, <laughs> basically. They're closed. Overall, not too bad, good ambience. Good selection of food and good quality of food. Location is pretty easy to find. So yeah, it's a must try, must visit. Go and check it out, you guys. Soda Bing Sa. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comment section down below if you guys have anything you guys want us to try around here in Macau. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Bye!